Hey y'all, welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. On Monday, I had a buffalo chicken spaghetti squash. I've shared this a few times on my channel. It is my absolute favorite way to have spaghetti squash. So after roasting it, sometimes I will cook up some chicken and some olive oil, but here I use rotisserie chicken. And then for the sauce, we have some red wine vinegar, hot sauce, brown sugar, and some tomato sauce. And then it gets topped with mozzarella cheese. So delicious. And then since Josh doesn't like spicy food or spaghetti squash, he just had some rotisserie chicken with some green beans on the side. And I made some instant mashed potatoes that I got for free with my free Friday download coupon from Kroger's. On Tuesday, I made some cauliflower crust pizzas. I made two of them, one with pepperoni and one with spinach and cherry tomatoes. This was our first time trying this particular brand. It was the Cauli Power. I found it in the frozen section at Walmart, and we absolutely loved it. We couldn't taste the cauliflower, which I wouldn't mind because I love cauliflower, but my family does not. And these are a little on the pricey side, and they are small, but you do get two crusts per pack. And to me, it's worth every penny because my family just does not care for their veggies, so I will sneak it in any way that I can. But now I'm going to throw in the footage of me putting these together. Day, I tried two new veggies that I had never had before and that was Brussels sprouts and butternut squash So I just took the Brussels sprouts and I cut those in half and then I put them in a big mixing bowl Drizzled with olive oil and seasoned with salt and pepper and I just tossed everything to coat and then on a cookie sheet lined with tin foil, I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then I just laid out those Brussels sprouts and kind of spread them out evenly. And then to that same mixing bowl, I just threw in my butternut squash, drizzled it with olive oil, just like I did the Brussels sprouts, and seasoned with salt and pepper. And once again, tossed a coat, and then I just laid that on the other half of the cookie sheet. And then lastly, I took two slices of bacon and I just chopped that up with some scissors. And I just placed that all over the veggies. I roasted these in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes, took them out to stir, and then I put them in for another 10 minutes. And this is what they looked like when they were done. And then to go along with that, I made some shake and bake chicken tenders. So I'm using the Parmesan crusted variety. So I just took two chicken breasts and I sliced that into strips. And then there, I'm just dipping it into a little egg wash. So after I get about three to four pieces of chicken coated in the egg, I just throw them into that baggie to the side that it comes with in the box with the seasoning and then I just shake it up and then to my air fryer basket I just spray some olive oil throw in my chicken and then I spray the tops with some more olive oil and I did have to do this in two batches because they wouldn't all fit but I just cooked that at 400 degrees for 15 minutes so here's the kids plates I serve theirs with some strawberries and mandarin oranges and then Boston has a few tater tots on the side and then here is my plate. I actually really enjoy these veggies. They were supposed to have a maple soy glaze on top, and I completely forgot until I had already ate it. And the chicken tenders were amazing. So crunchy and flavorful. Definitely a new favorite. On Thursday, I made a turkey chili. So I started off by heating up some olive oil in my Dutch oven, and then I sauteed some minced garlic, and then I tossed in my ground turkey. I'm pretty sure this was about 93% lean, and I just broke that up and browned it. And then after it was cooked, I added in my seasonings. So I have some 
some chili powder, cumin, oregano, salt, and the recipe called for some cayenne pepper, but I just left that out because my family does not care for spice as much as me. And then I added in a whole 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and I just gave that a good stir. And then I added in my chicken broth. I combined that, and then I added in two cans of drained and rinsed kidney beans, along with a can of corn, and that is it ingredient-wise. I let that come up to a boil, and then I popped my lid on, and I let that simmer for about 45 minutes, and this is what it looked like when it was done. It was nice and thick and so delicious. I topped mine with some shredded cheese and some sour cream, and I did end up adding in some tortilla chips. You can never go wrong with chili, and this was a lightened up version. On Friday, we just had that leftover chili, but I did put mine inside of a sweet potato. I topped it with some cheese, and then on the side, I had that leftover Brussels sprouts and butternut squash. Such an easy meal, and it was yummy, and in my opinion, pretty healthy. On Saturday, I tried a new recipe called pepperoni chicken. I found it in my Pioneer Woman cookbook, but I also found it on Pinterest, so I will be able to link the recipe. So I just cooked up two chicken breasts, and I seasoned it with salt and pepper, and I cooked it in some butter and olive oil. Once it was cooked, I removed it to the side to a separate plate, and then I added in some spaghetti sauce to that same pan that I cooked the chicken in that added so much flavor, and I just let that sauce heat up. And once it was heated up, I just added back in that cooked chicken to the sauce, and then for the best part, I added some pepperoni slices on to each chicken breast. I'm pretty sure her recipe called for like a whole bag of pepperonis, but I definitely did not do that. Um, and then I also topped it with some mozzarella cheese. And then for some color, I added some parsley on top. And then I just popped my lid on until the cheese was melted. I served this over a bed of spaghetti noodles with plenty of that sauce. And this was such an easy recipe. And it was so delicious. On Sunday, we went out to eat at this old diner in our town called The Wigwam. We love it there. Um, but that wraps up this week. I hope that you all enjoy this video. If you are new here, I make these videos every Monday. So be sure to tap that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.